Berkeley. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How better than perfect to be back here in the cradle of civilization. <laughs> Berkeley, where everything is possible, where Mario Savio died for our sins. Berkeley, that has given us absolutely everything we could ever dream of. You folks are so lucky. You didn't grow up with Nixon. You didn't grow up with Vietnam. You didn't grow up with the nonsense. You're able to take it to the 11th floor with nobody saying no, with nobody saying, what's that you're wearing today? Chase your dreams down as you build your lives. Realize that you'll never know how it's gonna play out. You're all 17, 18, 19 years old, maybe one or two of your 2021, 20, but you're in that position when you're gonna be curious, you're gonna be exploring, you're gonna be experimenting, and you're gonna be making choices. And all those things in your life are gonna play out with consequences, with repercussions. So as you make your choices, realize that the people here, they have your best interest at heart. When I got to UCLA, I realized immediately the lightning bolt flash of inspiration that just seared across the smoking crater that's my mind. And it, it dawned on me that basketball, the most perfect game of all, which is the perfect metaphor for life, transition, the rebound, the turnaround, execution, fundamentals, the fast break, the team, the dream, the vision, basketball, where all you have to do is wait for the opening tip. Unlike football, which is basically a halfway house between the army and prison, and, and, and baseball, which is a bunch of out of shape guys standing around scratching themselves, taking steroids, and waiting for the game of life to come to them. No, no, basketball, yeah. 